What's up guys and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank 3 Up Your Arsenal. In the last episode, well, we made our way through with the Terachnoid disguise and we found some information out about Nefarious and now we're falling. Okay, whoa, going down this pipe, where are we going? I don't even know. The face on Ratchet is just hilarious though. Is this a loading screen, really? Whoa, whoa, what is even? Where are we? What is going on? Why are we moving so insanely fast? Can we hold on for a second? What are the gems at the bottom of the screen on the HUD? What is happening? I don't understand anymore. I have gone completely insane with what is happening here. Come on now. Go this way, go this way. And then hop up. Yeah, oh, is that the plumber? No way. Hey, plumber dude, how you doing? And there's his butt. Deja vu. Ow! Oh, it's you two again. Right on schedule. This here is one of the nastiest, smelliest sewers in the galaxy. Most guys wouldn't set foot in a place like this, but me? Ah, I just can't get enough. Right. Well, we were just passing through. You can get back to whatever you were doing. Hey, if you find any sewer crystals, I'll pay you for them in bolts. I'm making something special for the missus. Sewer crystals. Uh-huh. We'll keep that in mind. Oh, well we already found two of them in our adventure, so we get 4,000 bolts for each, or in total? Ah, fresh from the bowels of a king amoeboid. Ew, <laughs> there are 99 sewer crystals left to find. Ew. <laughs> so which way can we go here? Like, what's the way to go? If I pull up the map here? No, no, that's not the map. All right, controller, work with me here. Um, There we go, okay. So that's the way out, and that's the start area. So I guess we could sort of run around and get a lot of crystals, but I feel like maybe that's an adventure for another time. I'm not really sure, but if we take a look, we can buy this, so that'll be nice. And then, hmm, this stuff is pretty expensive. I definitely think we'll have to swing on by here at some point in time, but now is not that time. Let me first off buy whatever ammo I need to buy, and we have still like 15,000. Multiple enemies with the spitting hydra. Release circle to fire. Oh, really? So let's check this out really quick. So if we, oh, wow, okay, then this is cool. <laughs> this could be a great place to train up some weapons if we really wanted to. And this is, of course, similar to the desert area that was in Ratchet 2, but I mean, for right now, <laughs> I don't think we'll be doing too much exploring around here just because I do want to make my way through the normal story, but we'll grab a few while we're right here. And since it ain't that you know bad to go and just grab them, we'll do so just right over here. And see if we can get a couple thousand bolts out out of it, and then we'll move on with the normal story and such. All right. Oh, geez, guys, these guys ha attack for a lot though, so you know. Oh, hi. <laughs> All right. I keep on saying no, but they keep on trying to drag me back in. Let's use the shock blaster here. I'm just gonna use all my ammo on him, and hopefully that'll take him out. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Good, good. <laughs> all right then. So I'm gonna ignore just about everybody else as we make our way back, like you. Boom, oh, wait, but there you go, got him. <laughs> All right then, here, take your dang sewer crystals, three of them for 6,000, so it's 2,000 each. That's actually not bad at all. We'll definitely have to do that on our own time. <laughs> on our own time, but for now, go into the ship. And now we're back here, so let's check out what our mission is currently. I mean, we could hop here, and I think it'll teleport us right before we got into that place, so let's check out what we have going on right now. It looks like that's just about it. If we check out the missions right now, it is to return to the Phoenix. So yeah, basically that's our only mandatory mission at the point. this point in time, so we might as well and go and do it. Uh, what planet do we have to be at for that? Oh, well, I guess Starship Phoenix, duh. Oh no, Nefarious is watching more <laughs> secret agent clients. of your work, sir, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir. They apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Quark! Oh, Janice. You'll always be the love of my <laughs> life. Oh, oh. Is that even happens to him in this game? should have that looked at. Moron could never hope to match wits with the likes of me. If anyone can beat a moron at his own game, it's you, sir. He has, however, assembled a group of elite agents known as the Q Force. What? This Q Force must be stopped. Destroy them, eradicate them, annihilate them all. <laughs> it's on my to do list. 
right after folding your undergarments. Oh no, looks like he's up to even more bad deeds. Well, team, I believe some congratulations are in order. <laughs> After Hooray. all, my plan worked even more perfectly than expected. Uh. Well? Uh, way to go, dude? <laughs> Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. We did all the work. Uh. Now that I know where the Tyranoids are coming from, I can put a stop to this alien menace once and for all. With utter disregard for my own safety, I've drawn up an ingenious plan for an attack on Tyrannosis. Oh, here we go again. First, I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicles from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally lead the assault on the main enemy base. Fun! All right, let's get to it! Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi, I was just wondering, what are the rest of you going to be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day. Oh, boy. But we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. Yeah, man, we got your back. <laughs> the plan is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you guys should come with me. <laughs> All right, then, so I guess we got to go to the Korgon base. That's just great. And here we are, on Tyrannosis. So many cutscenes! <laughs> What's that? Whoa! Well, we got ejected. Ooh. Well, we were cool, but oh, yeah, that's right, we're skydiving. And here we go. <laughs> Where is our ship going? I hope it has an autopilot, or we're gonna be out one ship. Hey, it looks like we do have some uh, buddies that are now being destroyed. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, the game really likes these skydiving sections, I can tell that much. I mean, Ratchet going, uh, not going in Mando, but, um... What's it called? Tools of Destruction also had a good chunk of skydiving. <laughs> I don't know. They have a thing for it. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> okay, we're almost there, though. Just gotta keep dodging. Dodge for real this time. All right. There we go. There's all the missiles. Done and over with. <laughs> this is really cool, though. I like it a lot. I just wish that we had our buddies with us instead of them just, you know, having meatloaf back in the ship. All right. Get rid of all this. They can take out the enemies now if they want to, but I want to actually check things out. We got another... Ammo vendor here, and they got more weapons for us. The Annihilator. That sounds pleasant. Um, hmm. We're just, just gonna buy things in order one at a time. It'll take, you know, a good chunk of time, but I mean, we've already bought quite a few things in the few episodes that we've had of, you know, Up Your Arsenal so far. It's actually pretty cool. All right, then. I'm gonna start taking this dude out. Come on. Boom. Bow. And then you. Oh, where do you think you're going, buddy? <laughs> Not very far, that's for sure. All right, um, let me start. I gotta make sure to use this auto-aim because it's actually super helpful. All right, then. Um, I can't wait to see what the other upgrades are then. Like, I wanna get this level five first and foremost just because I'm still curious as to what else the game might give us for it, but beyond that, I wanna see other level fives, you know? I wanna see how strong these weapons really can get. But so far, when it comes to, like, weapon diversity and just overall, like, the amount of weapons, Ratchet 3 has our back. Like, it is definitely the strongest out of the original trilogy because we already have, like, two rows worth of weapons, or at least a row and a quarter worth of weapons, and it's like, this is the ninth episode. <laughs> I had to look over to see what episode this is. It's actually really weird because I'm recording all these episodes before I even like upload any of them. That's the first time I've ever done that for a Let's Play series. Usually, as soon as I'm done recording episode one, I immediately upload it because I get so excited. But this time around, I'm doing things a bit different because I'm gonna be on vacation when the series is uploading. So yeah. It's actually really interesting. I think I'll have like half of the series recorded at the least before any of it goes out. So that's pretty interesting. Um, hmm. Well, they're fighting people. They're actually doing a really good job. They're making this easier for me. I want to take care of all of this here. And there we go. And we're getting tons of bolts. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Because we had 15K just a moment ago. So now we have 30,000. <laughs> quite a lot, quite a lot. Now, I don't think. No bolts are here. Oh, I did see a double bolt over there, though. We'll have to take that. Um, hey, you guys. Um,. I'm gonna take, grab this right now. <laughs> I know, I know. So that when I take out these enemies, they immediately give me some nice stuff. All right, I gotta take care of many guys as possible here. Um, oh geez. 
Auto aim, auto aim. And then, ooh, take you out, take you out. And then you two, ready? Oh, okay, there's a force field. I'll gotta take this out. Okay, there you go. But well, there's a lot of ammo to this. No, I died. If I didn't, if I noticed the force field, I think that would've turned out a lot better. All right, let's take these guys out for real this time. I have plenty of ammo. I'm about to get the level up here. Not quite yet though, not quite yet. We're getting there. Now what is this one then? Um, I really don't know what this thing is. It's like some type of electronic egg. This one like doesn't break. This one's really weird. Let's try it with a, like an actual weapon. Because the other one broke there. It goes, wow, that took a, whoa. Oh, this is exploding the turrets. What do you know? Okay then. <laughs> Good progress made there. All right, let's go get some crates before we continue on here and fight a million enemies, I'm sure. Let's see, take those out. The planets have been pretty short though. Like it only takes us about an episode or so to clear the planet this time around. Well, before it would take a little longer. This game just sort of has like a jam-packed content feel to it, which I like a lot. I feel like, like I know I'm still not very far into the game, but it's just, oh, it's so awesome so far. I'm loving this so much. All right, let's get these last few crates and then we'll be good to move on to whatever area is over there. Boom, baby. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do that. Run on over here and what's gonna happen? Nice work, Ratchet. I'm coming in on the dropship now. Yay, somebody, anybody, whoa. Go, Ratchet, get across that bridge. Awesome, we had the monkey's help. <laughs> to access your world map, press select or R3. All right, then we'll check out the world map in just a second. <laughs> cool stuff though, cool stuff. I mean, it's weird how many, uh, what's it called? Cutscenes have been in this, uh, this whole episode. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. You know what, I've seen gameplay of this. I've never played this myself, but I've definitely seen gameplay of this, which is really cool. All right, let's get all this and check out to see if there's any more ammo we can buy. And then we'll be good to go. All right, let's give this a shot. <laughs> Oh wow, this is weird. Whoa, the big jumps. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, Can we run over these plants? We can and they give us bolts. What's the break button? <laughs> I don't know what button is break. Okay, it's square. I have to keep that in mind so I don't do that twice. I don't know, I guess the monkey shoots? Is that the whole dealio here? Um, Yeah, the monkey sort of is on autopilot right now. So we just sort of have to wait for the monkey to do his thing for whatever reason. Apparently that's a good idea. <laughs> Except for the fact that it's absolutely not. My maximum nano tank is increased, awesome. So it says we have 100, I'm guessing that's for the vehicle. We didn't just get a 25 to 100 level jump. <laughs> All right, Mr. Ro or Mr. Tyranoid's up there, hop on down. Yeah, I don't know exactly where we're going or what we're doing. I think we're supposed to just run around and destroy stuff. Okay, this is crazy. <laughs> this is really crazy. I feel like we're missing out on stuff, but hey, we got ourselves a titanium bolt. Can I hop out of the vehicle at any time? I can. I actually think I might do that really quick because these guys are chasing me like crazy and it's sort of hilarious, but I need to uh, just do this to get an upgrade really quick. I'm almost there, so I wanna do it now. Ooh, there you go. So this is V5 for their first weapon in the game, the shot cannon upgrade. Can be charged up to release a spectacular beam of death. Hold the fire button to charge up the beam. Then release the button and sweep the beam across your enemies. That's actually really cool. So if we go like this and charge it up and then boom. And wow, it took out even the people behind him. Whoa, and it insta-killed the turret. I wasn't expecting that one. That is really cool. All right then, keep on charging up, let it rip, and then take care of this guy too. And it just has huge range, huge damage. It has everything I'd ever want out of a weapon. <laughs> I'll miss it because now I gotta play with the other weapons to make sure that they get their proper upgrades. So we might as well start working on I don't know, like I feel like the next easiest thing would probably be the N60 Storm. I think we should just do it easier to, easiest to hardest I assume, but I don't know. I think that in the next episode, we'll continue working on upgrading our weapons, have a good time riding, whatever this thing is called, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your family, and comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point in the video, make sure you comment Zebra Upgrade so I know you've watched at the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.